we're going to start with the physical nature of the machine. Okay, so we're going to talk physical first. Okay, so right here, um, this is your document feeder. Documents go in your document feeder face up. Okay, things can get stuck in your document feeder. Things like staples, paper clips, post-its, cookies, cigarettes, pretzels. I'm just talking about stuff I've seen in there. So please be very careful. Don't run anything crazy through your document feeder, okay? When things go through your document feeder, they actually pass over this little piece of glass right here. It's a little thin piece of glass called a slip glass. If something gets on that, like white out that isn't dried out all the way, it will actually transfer onto your copy as a horizontal black line. Okay, have you guys seen that before? There is a neat little tool right here that you can take off and clean that little piece of glass with. Okay? Your user, inter your user interface right here, this goes up and down. By pushing it to the left, it goes up and down. Okay, this is for Americans with Disabilities Act compliance. Okay? This is all touch screen right here. There is one big button on the right that is a home screen button. It's got a little blue picture of a house. Okay, and we'll talk about that in a minute, and you guys will be able to see the user interface on the screen. Okay? Um, let's talk about um, this big open tray right here. Toners across the top. We'll talk about how you guys get toners here in a little bit, and a waste toner container. Toner is very difficult to replace. Um, toner is very difficult to replace, and waste toner containers, we'll talk about how to get those. Main power switch is down here on the left. Okay? The main power switch on the left is if you need to restart your machine, if ever you feel compelled to like unplug it to restart it, that's what this does. Okay, so you don't need to unplug it. Okay? Your paper trays down here at the bottom. Paper trays are have these little guides right here that are pinch pull. So you pinch the sides or pinch the top to adjust the paper trays. Once you adjust those paper trays in size, it will register that size paper. So you don't have to tell it anywhere that it's like 11 by 17 paper or 8.5 by 14 paper. Mo literally by moving those, that will tell it that it's the, that size. Don't store anything on the other side, like uh, additional packs of paper or anything crazy like that over here. Sometimes we feel like we should do that. It's actually weighing how much paper's in here, and it, show, it will show you on the screen how much paper's in there by weight, so we don't want to put anything on the other side. Make sure that your trays or your guides are nice and tight up against the paper, but not too tight to where it may be coming kind of up, because that could cause some uh, misfeeds, okay? Um, let's think about paper path for a second. Your paper, once it comes out of the tray, passes up the right side of the machine. So this is kind of neat. You guys have an external paper path. Everything's on the outside. You notice there wasn't a place for paper, paper to travel through there. So if it happens to get a misfeed through here, it'll always be on this right side. This opens up right here. There are green locations in there that are good to touch. Little wheels that you can turn, little things that you can flip up and down that'll help move that paper out. Okay, so don't just grab it and pull it out because if a little piece of paper gets stuck in there, it could very well register that it's still misset. Okay, so always look at your piece of paper afterwards and make sure that it's it's entire. Okay, and when you close this back, you know close it like you would if I wasn't there. A lot of people kind of close it real gently, and it doesn't seed correctly. Now you don't want to kill it, but make sure you close it nice and firm. Okay, there is a soft reset switch up here on the top right. It is like a, a power switch, so if you need to restart it, that's actually where they prefer you to do that. Okay, underneath that is a little clear button that is an energy restart button, so it'll actually power the machine down in kind of a sleep mode, and it'll flash green. You can hit it again, and it'll start it back up quickly. Okay, you also have a port right here for external data at, uh, devices like USB drives that you can put in right there. So if you want to scan to or print from a flash drive, you can do that as well. Okay. There is a big sticker right here that says tap ID card here. I don't know, um, you guys can't see that from where you're at, but it's right here on the top. So if you have an ID card, when you walk up to this machine, you will, you, your screen will look like this, and it says use Butler ID card. You can just tap your ID card there, and it will log you in. And your home screen will look like that, okay? So this is kind of app style, you see, copy, scan to email, scan to USB drive, fax, all those different things. 
If you're in one of those modes like copy, like touching copy, and you touch the home screen button off to the right, you can see an image of it down at the bottom. That's actually at the right side of this user interface. That will take you back to all your different applications like copying, scanning to email, scan to USB drive. Okay, so it's kind of like a smartphone or an iPad if you're in an application and you want to get back to all the applications, you touch the home screen button. 